Uh, what's going on everybody? You got the Raging Rob here. And I represent the NRA National Rifle Association Empire. There's a video floating around right now. I just found out about it. The Waffle House. Now I love the Waffle House. I love the Waffle House. I was in the... Uh, not to be racial or anything. But this video which I have in the description. Click on it. It's... It's stirring up a lot of shit between the white supremacists and the Black Lives Matter. Now, I'm neither of those. I don't support either of them. They're both racist terrorist organizations. I am not a racist. But anyway, click on the description and there's a video. Just click on the, click on the link in the description. Decide for yourself. I was at a Waffle House last week in Atlanta, and I walked in there. I was the only white person, and we're talking. We're not talking. It was like 7:30 at night, just just getting dark. Uh, I was the only white person. All black employees and customers. Uh, this was last week, anyway. Uh, I didn't give anybody problems. Nobody gave me problems. Had a good waitress. She did her job well. I tipped her, paid my bill, and left. And I left a good tip. And, you know, no no problems. You know? Anyway, there was a prom night. Prom night? Today's Tuesday, right? Today, Monday? I don't know. Yeah, today's Tuesday. So I'm trying, trying to think. Prom night? On a Monday night? I don't know. But there's a prom night. I don't know if it was this last weekend or what. The video is like a few hours old. Uh, Warsaw, North Carolina... This guy, black, not that it matters, doesn't matter what his skin color is, but you know how the racists, like the, you know how the racists come out. So, the liberal racists, for that matter. You got, you got conservative racists, too. So, anyway, and I'm neither of that. But, anyway, uh, this guy took his sister to prom. Afterwards, they went to the Waffle House. Why would you go to a Waffle House on prom? I don't know. If it was a date, okay. But if, he took his sister, so, okay, that's probably understandable. Uh, an argument ensured. It was pretty packed because, you know, waff at the prom, you know, Waffle House, pretty packed after prom. Um, prom night, you know, restaurants are packed. Uh, now, allegedly what started the argument was the black kid. He, uh, asked one of the employees to wipe off the table because it was dirty, which, if the restaurant's busy, I can understand why the table's dirty. Because people are in and out, it's crowded, and you ain't got time to wipe the tables down. So, you know, an argument ensured. Uh, I, I, I looked at a couple Facebook pages. Uh, an employee of a husband... That, no, it was a wife of, the, of, a, of an employee that works there was saying that they got into an argument over the damn tables. I don't know. There was a slight video floating around of a girl in white yelling at the employees. Uh, allegedly, that's his sister. So anyway, it goes outside. The cops are called. And the video, which is in my description, is a cop chokeholding his teen and throwing him to the ground, which I got to be honest, I, I think that's a bit aggressive. So I don't know who's in the right and wrong on this, but part of me wants to side with the cop because uh, what happened in the Waffle House with the argument with the teen, and part of me wants to side with this teen because the cop was uh, out of line. But if you put somebody in a chokehold, they're not going to be able to breathe. They're going to be, you know, gasping for air. They're going to be fighting for life. Sort of like what happened with Eric Gardner. I'm against chokeholds, period. If this teen was fighting with the cops and was a problem, he should have whipped out his taser and tased him. Should have said, hey, put your hands behind your back or you're going to get the taser. But that didn't happen. The cop was excessive. But you know how some of these teens are. They don't like authority. So, I really don't know who to side on this one. It looked like he was fighting with the cops, but at the same time, that cop was out of line. 
So the problem is I didn't see enough video to decide who's at wrong, who's at right. Anyway, click on the link below and decide for yourself. I have no say in this matter.